call the meeting to order. If you'd please uh, stand and join us for the presentation of the colors and Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Color Guard attention. Color Guard forward march. Color Guard halt. Color Guard cross the colors. Spit and salute. Color Guard post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Color Guard reform. Color Guard about face. Color Guard forward march. Color Guard halt. Color Guard dismissed. Nice work, Thank gentlemen. You. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Okay, thank you for all joining us tonight. It's a great night in Wakanda. We got a couple presentations we'd like to do first. Uh, first, we'd like to recognize our uh, FBLA students, the Future Business Leaders of America from uh, Wakanda High School. So we'd like to invite the, the group forward to just be recognized. And uh, Wendy Mills is their advisor, so uh, she's a teacher over there at the uh, high school. And uh, I'll let you introduce your, your students and what their what their successes are this year. Thank you. All right. Good evening. <laughs> you can tell we have many national qualifiers here. We could get them all in the room. Try to get as many as I could so you can see how proud you can be of your community. And some of you, I recognize your face. But without your help and your mentoring of these kids, uh, there's no way that we can be as successful as we are. So, like I've said in the past, there's no way we can be. You don't have to be like a Warren or Stevenson with four to 5,000 kids. You just have to have a great community with great kids, and we have shown that the last nine years. So we are the second largest uh, FBLA chapter in the state of Illinois. We are the uh, largest chapter going to nationals in the state of Illinois. And, yeah. In fact, the chief of police even offered to be one of my chaperones so he can meet all 10,000 teenagers. told me to need two taser guns in order to be able to handle that. Uh, but it's great to see everybody out trying to help the kids. Um, we just go around to the different villages. Uh, the kids this year are going to Anaheim, California. Uh, we have 44 national, actually 48 national qualifiers, 44 are going. Uh, we were nice enough to let Grant and Lake Zurich uh, join us. We're just charging them a little bit of extra service charges for that. Uh, but it's nice that people always say, you know, what do you do? What is your secret? I just said, because I live in Wakanda, it's my secret. <laughs> and I said, the communities come together and embrace these kids. And uh, a couple of the teachers just say, we know who FBLA is. Uh, they're the ones that speak and that are polished. A gentleman from Libertyville uh, sent me an internship for $15 an hour today and said the first qualification was FBLA member ah. and he didn't want anybody else to um, call him for the interview. So it's neat that these kids have built a reputation of this is all we want is the FBLA kids. So we're going to try and get them to Anaheim, California make you proud. Have you seen the green signs that uh, Mr. Fink's made a few times for our national champions? Um, they do beat out teams all the way across the globe from China, Russia, and Japan. So a couple teams a few years ago said can we beat China? I thought they were smarter than us. And I'm like, well, let's prove that we are smarter than China. And they wind up taking first place. So it's nice that the kids can uh, get this kind of um, experience. So what I'd like them to do, because it is a great large group, they're just going to stay in their teams and tell you their event that they did and what they placed. Uh, the nice thing about this group, that they made history again, is we have two state officers. They will tell you who they are. That is the first time since 1954 in Wakanda and some, are, some of you, a few of you might remember that year, um, <laughs> that uh, we've had a state officer in the in Wakanda area, two of them. Uh, and so it's been quite a while since we've had that. So I'm really proud that we got two this year. In fact, those two ladies that were the state president last 1954 come to the Mills for All monthly <coughs> dinners to have friends and people gather around for that monthly meal. So it's kind of neat to see the history that is still here. So we're going to go ahead and start with Tommy O'Brien and then just go across. Uh, hi, I'm Tommy O'Brien. I was elected state vice president and I placed first for my testing event, uh, business communication, and then I placed first for local chapter annual business report. 
I'm Katrina Nishioka, and I play Spurs in Local Chapter Annual Business Report with Tommy. I'm Chloe Carderas. I also play Spurs in Local Chapter Annual Business Report with Katrina and Tommy. I'm Jessica Deal, and I play fourth in my Who's Who event, and then first for graphic design. I'm Spurs I Khan. I play fourth in Emerging Business Issues. I'm Olivia Batson. I also play fourth in Emerging Business Issues. I'm Grace Sandowski, and I play first in Community Service Project. I'm Shannon McNutt, and I play second in Intro to Parliamentary Procedures. I'm Eric Keller, I play second in Website Design. I'm Eli Worcester, and I place first in Public Service Counseling. I'm Brian Yu, and I place third in Banking and Financial Systems. I'm Matthew Nolan, and I play second in eBusiness. I'm Andrew Nolan, and I play second in eBusiness as well. I'm Shauna Weber, and I play second in American Enterprise Project, fifth in Public Speaking 2, and I was named um, Illinois State Secretary. <coughs> I'm Jess Rella. I competed in the category of emerging business issues. Uh, me, Olivia, and Spolzmai got fourth place. Uh, I'm Ryan Vogler. I took fourth in my testing category of advertising. I'm Kelly Kriegel, and I placed first, we placed first <laughs> in um, digital video production. I'm Luke Johnson. <laughs> I'm Shannon <laughs> Storrs. The last four years have gone by actually a lot quicker than I thought they would. Uh, very proud of our, of our team here. Um, it, you know, in spite of any kind of challenges we face, the elected officials and I worked together uh, to accomplish the, the, the best that we could for the village. And uh, we really, uh, again, I always have to recognize our staff for allowing that to happen because they're the ones that are there every day that actually get the, the work done. So very much appreciate that. Um, and I also think that it's important to see that we all take our turns uh, in, in leadership of our community. I think that's an important principle that, and that's part of what it is to be American is that uh, we have you know, limited powers, we have limited government, and we do our role and we help our community and that's actually what got me involved. So you know, I got back from Afghanistan, I was a man on fire, wanted to do everything, was happy to be alive, and uh, so I went out and, 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 and you know, did that after some suggestion from uh, some neighbors and, uh, and friends that say, hey, you should, you should do this. Um, I'm very happy that I did. I gotta say it was a, a, it was a great experience. Uh, very proud of what this team has been able to do. And, uh, and every success I've had in life, i got to point back to say it's always about the team and that the team that you're able to build is what's able to accomplish it because no one, no one accomplishes anything by themselves, really, uh, especially uh, in the challenging times that we face now. So I very much appreciate uh, all the work that everyone's done and I appreciate the uh, cooperation that we've gotten from the elected officials as well. Um, I know John is also leaving us this evening uh, and you know, going to leave the board. Uh, and he was actually a central uh, figure in helping get a lot of this cooperation done, so I'd just like to recognize Sean for that and appreciate all your efforts there, John. <laughs> and I wonder, Gina, if you could join us for a moment. I got a special gift for Gina. Uh, she's done a great job for us. It's a tough job uh, sitting there being quiet. I know, uh, is Mary with us tonight? Mary usually, uh, Mary Taylor likes to come. Mary. I know you can attest to this. So Mary was a former clerk as well. I just recognize you, Mary, that uh, she knows what it is to have a tough job. So anyway, I uh, pr present this to you, Gina. Appreciate your years of service. And uh, thank you so much for all you do for the village. Gina has to sit and listen all the time to us, whether it's executive session or not. So Gina, before you run off, you get a chance to say your piece now, and uh, this oh. is your turn to talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It won't be long, don't worry. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. I normally don't have the opportunity to express my thoughts, but today I can. So thank you, Mayor Bard, for letting me have these few minutes to speak. Um, first, I would like to thank all the residents who had elected me for my position as clerk back in 2013. Mayor Bard, I want to thank you for initially getting me involved with the village and believing in my talents. My first two years, I really had a lot of questions in my mind if I was going to survive these weekly three to four hour board meetings, executive sessions, and all the minutes that I had to type. But I did. Since no one on the board had publicly thanked you for your service, I'd personally like to thank you, Mayor yeah, Bart, um, for everything that you've done. Over the years, you and your family have personally endured a lot from this town and not always positive. Thank you, Mayor Bart, for your dedication and knowledge, background in business and finance, and for your vision of promoting financial stability in our village. You truly have left this village organized and efficient for the next <coughs> transitional board. As I have seen the board members evolve, I would also like to thank them for their countless hours that they have given to these positions in, the, in our town. You had made, you've had to make many hard decisions over the years, sometimes hesitant, but realizing that it was the best for our residents and our town. I hope that you will continue put, to put them first, that Wakanda remains a welcoming, welcoming town for all. I ask going forward that the village become more inclusive of all the schools in our town for local events such as shoe recycling and textile drives not just District 118. Many residents are Village of Wakanda taxpayers, but not District 118 taxpayers. Look outside of Main Street to promote your activities or promote the farmer's markets in other parts of the town, along Liberty Streets or in, the, in other plazas uh, throughout our village where you have more patron tra traffic. Main Street isn't the only business. It's not the only part of Wakanda. So I want you to have it, it be inclusive of all of Wakanda. I want to thank the staff um, who have worked with me and who have worked through many of the changes over the years, but have remained dedicated to our strategic plan put forth by this board. Thank you for your knowledge, hard work, and honesty. <coughs> Doug, you stepped into some tumultuous times um, where others would have had ran the other way, but you really stuck with it and remained a pillar of strength for our village. <coughs> your background and expertise as our village administrator has stabilized our village and staff. Thank you, Sherry, um, our deputy clerk, for attending the numerous local municipal meetings with me and throughout the years. Um, thank you for always being there when I'm not present to answer those countless water bill questions and FOIA requests. This truly has been a knowledgeable and rewarding experience for myself. I encourage others to take the time to fulfill their civic duty and to give back too. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Gina. Um, and actually, we, you know, as, a, as we recognize people, I just want to say that we only had three strategic goals in the community, one of which was getting Lake Michigan water, and, and Doug was really a central figure in that. We already gave Doug uh, the key to the village for those efforts because he accomplished really one of the three strategic goals. Couldn't say enough good things about Doug, uh, but really our staff as well. Um, Chris, I know you've troubled, uh, troubled times to try to do economic development, but you still got it done. And it was difficult to get the old Dominic's filled, and you know, difficult to get some of these deals going in the uh, in the uh, so-called triangle area, which is our TIF district. But uh, you've again got quite a few things on the burner there. So hopefully these next few years will be good as far as economic development goes. Um, having said that, we had two people sign in to make public comment. Mary, did you want to make a public comment, or you just signed in? Uh, no, I wanted to say something. Please come forward. <coughs> Chair will yield three minutes to the lady from Wakanda. <coughs> Not going to holler at anybody. I just want to. <laughs> okay, good evening. I'm Mary Taylor. I live at 343 Old City in Wakanda. I just want to say a few things about I want, I, I want to thank former mayor, well, you're still the mayor, former mayor Bart for his services. And I think. I thank him for one which he followed through on. I don't know, I didn't check the other ones. He probably did do others, but for this one, everybody talked to me about it. And that was for running 
when you said you're going to one one year, uh, four years, one term, and you did. That's right. Um, uh, many, many residents asked me, uh, would he do that? And I told them, I didn't know. We'd have to, to find out. Mm -hmm. Many politicians say and promise many things they, they think they can do. They don't check first, but go ahead and do them. What you get when you, um, let's see. What gets me is they don't apologize when they make a mistake. And I think everybody knows who I'm talking about. I don't want to go on with this, so I'll leave it. Former Mayor, thank you for your services. I'll miss you. Well, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that very much. Rudy, it's always good to see you. I'm the one you're talking about that wanted me. <laughs> it's always good to see you, Rudy. Rudy, had, Rudy and I had a good working relationship. I never called him, and he never called me. <laughs> And it's good to see you're still up there. You still must be doing a wonderful job. Board got smart. Thank you, and give my regards to Barb. Mr. Mayor to be, where is he? Oh, the Linky, there we are. That's what I call him. That's what we call him, Linky. Congratulations to New, and I know you'll do a good job. I have one question to ask, and maybe you can answer it, as people have asked me. Because I've been on the board for, uh, I was on the board for 16 years. They think I know everything. And I said, if you go to a board meeting, maybe you'll get smart. Uh, I think they worked on the old parking lot in the uh, old shopping center. And they striped it and they black topped it. When are they going to fill in the holes? I mean, I come along with this. You got an answer, Mr. No, I don't know. Is it uh, Ace, are you talking about the Ace Hardware, or were you talking By the Ace Hardware, yeah. That's the old shopping center, in oh, case yeah. you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I was guessing that was probably... Yeah, that is, that is. Can anybody give me an answer? And, you know, down by near the high school, I was coming back from the uh, township and from the library, and there are holes down there, too. Not real big ones, but holes. We'll have uh, Chris check on it, but before you go, i got to come give you a hug, Mary, because you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any answer on that or no? <laughs> He'll look into it for you. Okay. Thank you I so see much. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you only don't want me to look at you? I said I'm Mary. Thanks, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Okay. So yeah, just to address your comment, Mary, real quick, is uh, you know I do, I've, you know, being in the military, I very much believe people have got to do their service, and that's that's how I saw this job is, a, it's a job of service, and anytime you take on a job that has that has power, and so you know I believe to whom much is given, much is expected, and so there's there's a, a lot of responsibility that goes with that, and so today's a great day for me because I get to pass that responsibility to Lincoln, so he gets to be the. Uh, the one who carries that responsibility now in this role. So very much uh, appreciate your your comments. So, and then we also had one other person. Um, is it Marla? Did you intend to speak, or did you just sign in? It was Maria. Maria uh, Nessa. Maria Weisbrook. I was just. Oh, I'm, I'm just sorry. Echoing, I'm echoing um, John Barbini's compliments. So. Oh, thank great. You for your service, John. Oh, very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, Chair will entertain a, a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Knight? Yes. Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Starkey? Yes. Trustee Arnswald? Yes. Trustee Black? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. And Chair will entertain a motion to approve consideration and consent agenda by omnibus vote. So moved. Second. A roll call, please. Trustee Knight? Yes. Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Starkey? Yes. Trustee Arnswald? Yes. Trustee Black? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Can you please read the consent agenda? Consent agenda A, approval of of the bills for payment from April 12, 2017 through April 25, 2017 in the amount of $136,213.29. B, approval of the minutes of the April 18, 2017 regular village board meeting. 
C, request from the village attorney for a 2% rate adjustment for legal services to the village. D, consideration and action on a special event permit application to close Main Street for the Memorial Day Parade. E, general wage increase for non-represented employees of 2.5%, wage increase for the chief, for chief forms of 5%, and wage increase for deputy chief Otterman, 3.5%, effective May 1st, 2017. Thank you. Chair Lieutenant, a motion to approve items A through E on the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Knight? Yes. Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Starkey? Yes. Trustee Arnsvall? Yes. Trustee Black? Yes. And Trustee Howe? Yes. And our only item of uh, business for old business is the recognition of the elections. So if we could have uh, Lincoln and uh, Judge uh, Tonigan, if you could come forward to... Uh, First of all, I just need to we'll just read. I need to um, read and proclaim the results okay. of the election. Sure. Can we do that? <coughs> Okay, the results, Village of Wakanda President, Lincoln F. Knight, 1,026 votes, Brian Anderson, 497 votes, so obviously declared, Lincoln Knight is the winner. Village of Wakanda Clerk, Sheriff Locke Novak, 1,056 votes, Adrian Jungles Hickey, 428 votes. Village of Wakanda Trustees, Tim Howe, 1,027 votes. Richard G. Marino, 959 votes. Adam Schlick, 963 votes. Joe Lewis, 466 votes. Michael Silverman, 456 votes. And Dan Casper, 462 votes. If we could have uh, Judge Tonigan, uh, please come forward. And Trustee Knight. <coughs> <laughs> the oath that I'm going to read here tonight to, to uh, uh, newly elected Mayor Knight and the other officials here tonight is a simple oath. Each word has uh, been chosen and been uh, repeated by many officials. Um, we'll take it nice and slow for the officials, but please listen to what they have promised to do for you now as their elected official. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Uh, raise your right hand, please. I state your name in full. I am Lincoln F. Knight. Having been elected to the office of mayor. Having been elected to the office of mayor in the village of Wakanda. In the village of Wakanda. In the county of Lake Aforsett. In the county of Lake Aforsett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of mayor. The duties of the office of mayor. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> Constitution of the United States. That will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. A village clerk. A village clerk. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability.
and the trustees. Right. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, please repeat after me. I state your name in full. I, Timothy Housley, having been elected to the office, having been elected to the office of village trustee, of village trustee in the village of Wakanda, in the village of Wakanda, in the county of Lake, in the county of Lake, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I'll support the Constitution of the United States, that I'll support, support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office, the duties of the office, of village trustee, of a village trustee, according to the best of my ability. According, according to, to the best, best of my ability. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> We'd like to recognize just a couple others out of your honor. We'll let you take the... Uh, we would. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. We certainly appreciate all your support. And uh, we would like to uh, recognize uh, Mayor Bart and his wife, Christine, if she could come forward as well. very much for your four years of service. We greatly appreciate it. And Christine, we know we know as an elected official, there's other people that take a, a lot of the brunt of it. So we appreciate the time, the sacrifice that both of you have given to our community. And we wish you all the best in the future. Thank you so much. Again, appreciate everyone's uh, help and uh, assistance in this uh, this effort, and I'm very proud of this group uh, as a whole. And I think uh, couldn't be couldn't be proud of the staff, and I couldn't be prouder of the accomplishments that we've had as a team. So we're going to call a, uh, a recess, and oh, then we'll no, no, no we more, got two more. Yet? Okay, two sorry. More. Oh, that's right, we forgot that. I'll let you do the honors. That's right, Gina. And is your husband here? Yes, he is. All right, please come forward, too, please. <laughs> She gets to come home. Thank you very much for everything that you've done. You put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. We, we sincerely appreciate it. We're uh, giving Gina a, a plaque here in recognition of dedication and service to the residents of the Village of Wakanda, Village Clerk, May 2013 through May uh, 2017. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and one more we have for trustee John Barbini. This is this is very special. John and I have served together for eight years. We have a great relationship here and he has done wonderful things for the village, helped out many people. And uh, as, if you look through the agenda, you'll see he's been the, uh, he will be coming back later this evening. So, mm -hmm. but we give you a plaque as well in recognition of dedication and service to the residents of the village of Wakanda, village trustee, May 2009 through May 2017. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> He was always the voice of reason. He was always the one organizing everything. As you may have heard, if you've ever attended a board meeting, he would like to list off everything in order as it happened and how it happened. So very much appreciate everything, John, very much. So we're all, uh, we'll call it a quick recess here then, and we'll reset the... Uh,
but the, the new uh, elected officials take the dais. So, uh, shall I uh, entertain a motion to move to a recess? So moved. Second. Uh, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Move to recess. Call to order the remainder of the regular village board meeting for May 2nd, 2017. Roll call, please. Trustee Sarkey? Here. Trustee Arnswell? Here. Trustee Black? Here. Trustee Howe? Yes. Here. <laughs> Here. Trustee Marino? Here. Awesome. This is your new board <laughs> First item under new business is item A. It's an action item. It's a consideration and approval of Mayor Knight's appointments. Uh, first <coughs> one is Village Administrator and Director of Human Resources Risk Management, Doug Maxiner. Director of Finance Treasurer, Ed McKee. Chief of Police, David Wormus. Director of Public Works, Brad Fink. Director of Building, Planning, Zoning, Economic Development, Building Commissioner. It's <coughs> a big business card. Wow. Chris Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Deputy Clerk, Sherry Davies. FOIA officers, Sherry Davies, Ali Ferrero, Deb Orgazali, and Connie Watkins. Administrative hearing officer, the Honorable Henry Tonigan. Our village engineer, William Rickert, RHMG. Village attorney and ethics officer, Rudy Magna. Fire marshal, EMA director, Mike Wall. Deputy fire marshal, Mike Duvall. Deputy EMA director, John McKeon. President, mayor pro tem, trustee Lindy St Linda Starkey. <coughs> Deputy liquor commissioner, trustee Ken Arnswell. Chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals Plan Commission, Rob Fosnes. Vice Chairman of the ZBA Plan Commission, Dave Jakubic. ZBA Plan Commission members, Wade Meyer and Peter Graves. And actually in the packet, trustees, you'll see uh, Wade will actually be the three years and Peter will be the one year term. Uh, board of Fire and Police Commissioners, Dr. John Barbini. A police pension board is to be announced. We're still working on that one position. Bangs Lake Advisory Committee, Ed Lockmeyer and John Lambert. Solid Waste Agency of Lake County, Swalco, Director Chuck Black, Alternate Linda Starkey, CLC Java Board Member, Mayor Knight, Alternate Board Member, Linda Starkey. Can I have a motion and a second, please, to approve? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Starkey? Yes. Trustee Arnswell? Yes. Trustee Black? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Schlick? Yes. Trustee Marino? Yes. Thank you very much. We will start swearing people in. Sure, if you sign in. <coughs> Judge, would you like to be first? <laughs> no fine. <laughs> I didn't think you would. <coughs> Probably the first time you get to swear at a judge, right? Yeah, this is <laughs> 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 There you go. You got it? There you go. <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> I say, oh, raise your right hand. <laughs> I say your name. I, Henry C. Tonigan. Have been appointed to the office of? Having been appointed to the office of? Administrative Hearing Officer. Administrative Hearing Officer. In the Village of Wakanda. In the Village of Wakanda. In the County of Lake, Aforsett. In, in the County of Lake, Aforsett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of. Of the Office of Administrative Hearing Officer. Of the, the Office of Administrative Hearing Officer. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Well done. <laughs>
Next up, we have Village Administrator Doug Maxiner and Director of Finance Treasurer Ed. Oh, Ed will not be here tonight. And Chief Foreman. We will uh, swear in at it the next meeting. State your name. Uh, I have Having been appointed of the office of. I have been appointed of the office of. Village administrator, director of human resources and risk management. Village administrator, director of human resources and risk management. Chief of police. Chief of police. In the village of Wakanda. In the village of Wakanda. In the county of Lake Aforsett. In the county of Lake Aforsett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I support the Constitution of the United States. I support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Chief of Police. Of Chief of Police. And your long title? Village Administrator. Village Administrator. <laughs> Director of Human <laughs> Resources and Risk. <laughs> According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Next up, we'll have Director of Public Works, Brad Fink, and Building and Zoning, Chris Miller. Can you come forward? To the office of have been appointed to the office of director of public works director of public works director of building zoning planning and economic development and building in the village of Wakanda in the village of Wakanda in the county of Lake aforesaid in the county of Lake aforesaid to solemnly swear to solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge, and I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office, the duties of the office. Director Public, Director Public Works, Deputy Clerk, Director of Building, Zoning, Planning, Economic Development, Building Commission. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. <laughs> we'll have our FOIA officers next, so that is uh, Sherry once again, Ali, and uh, Deb, or is Ali, or you? Yes. and Connie. Connie Watkins is no. She's here. not able to be here. Okay, we'll switch her in at the next meeting. <laughs> Sherry. 
Rudy and Bill. State your name. I am Rick Magna. Having been appointed to the office of having, having been, been appointed, appointed to the office of village attorney, and village engineer, village engineer, and at the top, sir. And and at the top, we have another one for that. That's on that. We'll add this. Okay. Uh, in the village of Wakanda. In the village, village of Wakanda. In the county of Lake Aforsett. In the county of Lake Aforsett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. swear that I will support the Constitution. That I will, that I will support, support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully, faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties, the duties of, the of the office. The village attorney. The village attorney. The village engineer. Village engineer okay. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Next up, we'll have Fire Marshal and EMA Director Mike Wall, Deputy Fire Marshal Mark Duvall, and uh, Deputy EMA Director John McKeon. Step forward, please. Support the Constitution. That I will support, support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of. Of the office of the Director, the Fire Marshal, Deputy Fire Marshal. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> President Mayor Pro Tem, Trustee Linda Starkey, and Deputy Liquor Commissioner, Trustee Ken Archibald. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties of the office of President Pro Tem. Deputy Liquor Commissioner. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Be chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals and Planning Commission, Rob Fosnes, and the Vice Chairman of ZBA Planning Commission, Dave Jakubic, and Planning Commission members, Wade Meyer and Peter Graves. Raise your right hand. I state your name. Hi, I'm Rob Fosnes. 
Having been appointed to the office of Having been appointed, appointed to the office of, of Chairman of the Planning Commission Planning Zoning Board of Zoning Appeals. In the village of Wakanda. In the village of Wakanda. In the county of Lake. In the county, county of Lake. Lake. <coughs> I'm sorry, Eversad. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of Chairman Planning Commission Zoning Board of Appeals. <laughs> According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Next up will be the Board of Fire and Police Commissioners, Dr. John Barbini, and the Bangs Lake Advisory Committee, Ed Lockmeyer and John Lambert. State your name. I, 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 Having been appointed to the office of. Having been, been appointed, appointed to the office of the Board of Police and Fire Commissioners. Bank, German Bank Lake Advisory Committee. In the village of Wakanda. In the, in the village of Wakanda, Wakanda. In the county of Lake Aforset. In the county of Lake Aforset. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States, of the United States, States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office, the duties, duties of, of the office, office, Commissioner of Fire and Police Commission, Commissioner of Fire and Police Commission, and Banks Lake Advisory Committee, Banks Lake Advisory Committee, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, sir.
the new elected, and happy to be working with uh, Trustees Arnwald, Arnwald, and Glenn and uh, Starkey again. And uh, it's a team effort. What we announced, those of us that just ran this last election, is that we wanted to get people involved, and it is truly a team effort. What we also do is we have committee meetings by the trustees, and that's where we would like your help, as we've stated before. So what we have done is we have committees, and we actually have five committees. That's the working part of it. We come to our board meetings, you see they actually move along quickly, um, because that's not the working end of it. The working end comes through all the committees with staff, with the trustees. And we have these five committees. Um, the five committees are Village Services, Economic Development, Marketing Committee, Natural Resources Committee, and License and Admin. Now, License and Admin is something that we've been working on for a number of years. We started out with an ordinance book that was probably about, what, 10, four, five inches thick, Ken? Yes. Trustee Arnswald and Trustee Howe have done a great job leading those committees, and we've been refining that, and we've got it down to about half of that. So some of these ordinances were 30, 40 years old. And uh, we've done a great job. So that committee we're going to keep alive as needed. Um, and the members on that, uh, the chair will be uh, Trustee Howe, the deputy chair is Ken Arnswald, and the member will be Rich Marino. As far as natural resources, uh, the chair will be Trustee Chuck Black, deputy chair will be Trustee Linda Starkey, and the member will be Trustee Tim Howe. Our marketing committee will be Trustee Tim Howe as chair, deputy chair is Trustee Ken Arnswald, and the member will be Trustee Chuck Black. As far as economic development, the chair is Trustee Linda Starkey, deputy chair is uh, Trustee Rich Marino, and the member will be Trustee Adam Schlick. Welcome to the committees. Village Services will be chaired by Trustee Ken Arnswald, Deputy Chair will be Trustee Adam Schlick, and a member will be Rich Marino. Now this is where you come in. Uh, you said and you heard Mary Taylor, people promising things and not following through, we're following through here. Uh, we would like residents to be involved in these committees. We don't want you just to show up, but we'd like you to be a member, to actually join. We're looking for a few members on each committee, maybe two, maybe three. So if you're interested, please reach out to me. Uh, you can call the Village Hall here. You can send me an email. We'd like a, a resume, maybe some information on why and what committee you'd like. But we want you, we want stakeholders. We want people to be involved. We want to work together with, with the community and get all aspects of the community involved. Um, that, uh, that really sums it up. I'm, I'm getting, thank you. We are looking forward to our new term together here. It's going to be a great board, and uh, thank you for your support. And we'll open up for trustee remarks and comments, and trustee Starkey. I want to thank all those people leaving office for their service to the community. <coughs> and congrats to the newly elected officials and appointed staff. I look forward to working with everyone to move Wakanda forward. I'm excited about chairing the Economic Development Committee. Progress has been made in the past, but there's still a lot of work to be done. I have already met with former trustee John Barbini to gather his thoughts and insights on the topic, and I'm meeting with the administration and Mayor Knight later this week so we can get to work right away. So I'm very excited and look forward to working with everybody up here. That's all I've got tonight. Thank you, Trustee. Trustee Arnswell. Thank you, sir. Uh, big, uh, big congratulations to the FBLA. Uh, what they've been doing the last several years is just amazing. Um, continue to impress and get what kind of out there. Um, as uh, Trustee Starkey and Mayor Knight said, congratulations to the new folk. Cheryl, that's you too. Thank you. And, uh, and a big thanks to those that um, left office tonight. Um, we got a lot of things done and we're going to get a lot more done in the next four years. So Dr. John Barbini, I don't know, it, it's, it was so nice sitting in this chair, but it's a big seat to fill. So thank you very much, Jen, for everything you've done. Um, you've done a lot more than people really know for this board in the village, so thank you very much. That's all I have, sir. Thank you, Trustee. Trustee Black. A uh, couple of things right in line with everybody else. Congratulations, Lincoln, Cheryl, Adam, and Rich. Welcome to the team. Looking forward to... Uh, the next few years of working together, and welcome back, Tim. Don't want to forget you. Welcome back, my friend. Um, also, congratulations to FBLA. Obviously, they're, that's an, an outstanding group. What is it, been nine years? 
accomplished all this? Was it nine years? Is that what it was? Yeah, I believe so. To think that they went from scratch to what they've accomplished in nine years is simply amazing. Um, on the Swalco front, <coughs> uh, very quickly, I won't go into it really deep. Um, all the information, you can find it at swalco.org. Sorry. But the rain barrel compost bin <coughs> and native plant sale is coming up on Saturday, May 13th from 9 to 3 over in Independence Grove in Libertyville. And the next upcoming um, events, uh, chemical waste events, are Saturday, May 13th and Monday, May 22nd. Those are up in Gurney at the uh, home office, and appointments are necessary. But for all those people that have some of those harder to get rid of things, that's your chance to make an appointment up there. Uh, next up is reuse issue. Um, we've been doing this. This is our fourth year. I won't, I won't drown you all in numbers as much <coughs> as I would love to, but that will keep it short. But this is our fourth year reuse issue, and uh, a lot of firsts happened this year. First of all, the Wakanda Grade School won this year, so congratulations to them. Uh, Robert Crown has won the last three years. I'm uh, sorry, Cotton Creek. Cotton Creek has won the last three years, and Wakanda Grade School took him out. And they set a record at 0.75 shoes per student. So what we do in order to make it fair is we take all the shoes that we collected and divide it out by the number of students to make it fair. Um, they broke the all-time record, so nicely done by them. On top of it, Wakanda High School, we collected 492 shoes in one day, which is a single record. But more importantly, well, no. Also, for that day, it was 1,038 shoes that uh, Mark Kanigi picked up on Friday <laughs> and had to cart back to uh, Public Works and sort through them. But actually, the, the most amazing thing is, and this is partly because of the high school, but this year we broke the 2,000 mark. We collected 2,050 shoes in one week through the District 118 school system, which is amazing, knowing that most shoes, we only collect about 5,000 shoes in a year. To think that roughly 40% of that comes from a one week uh, contest throughout the schools. Um, on top of that, I would like to thank Brad Fink and Public Works for housing said shoes until the collection comes up. That's another week or two, right? Let's help it sooner than that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's probably bursting at the seams with shoes at this point. And they are used shoes. And, and they are used shoes. I um, mean, actually, I'd like to really thank um, United Partnership, the District 18 school system for getting the word out. And actually, Mark Kanigi, I don't, I don't think he's here anymore, but Mark picked up all of those shoes in one week, 2,000 shoes, took them back to Public Works, and the ones that weren't uh, banded together or tied together, he pretty much sat there and sorted them himself. So I guess the last shout-out would be to the high school. Of those 492 shoes, probably 400 of them were appropriately taken care of, so it saved a lot of time. So a shout-out to the high school for that. And then lastly, Dr. Barbini. Cannot thank you enough. Um, when I was up here and I was the new guy, whatever, I'd like to thank you for all your help and mentoring. And more importantly, get me through my first uh, budget. <laughs> I know there was, uh, you know, you, you come up here and you realize you don't know everything. But until you sat through your first budget and realize how it all interweaves together, and I uh, appreciate the time that you spent with me helping me get those for a first couple years of budget. So thank you very much. You will be missed, my friend. Thank you. That's it, sir. Thank you, sir. Trustee Howe. Thank you, Mayor Knight. Um, I, I, then, again, thanks to everybody uh, for all their hard work. Um, I want to thank uh, outgoing clerk uh, Gina Strelecki uh, for her service. I want to thank uh, outgoing Mayor Frank Bart uh, for his service. I don't think it's any secret. Frank and I didn't always get along. But there's a value in service, and we appreciate the service. Um, whether you agree or disagree, everybody has a job to do. Um, and of course, John, a good friend, a mentor, um, and valuable service for many years to the community. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, I look forward to uh, my first marketing committee in a few weeks, and uh, we're going to hit the ground running, I assure you. Um, and welcome, uh, Rich, Adam, and Cheryl, and uh, congratulations, Mayor Knight. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee. All right, thank you, Mayor Knight. I can't express enough gratitude, uh, especially to you, Mayor Knight, for having the confidence in picking me to be on your slate and run with you and allowing the residents to choose me to serve in this position. It was a great honor. I'm incredibly humble. I cannot say enough, so I want to personally thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll be remiss if I don't thank all the trustees 
including outgoing trustee John Barbini. You guys have set a great example for myself and Rich to follow. Uh, your professionalism, everything you've handled, even under adversity, it truly is amazing. I, you know, you set a high bar, and I hope to achieve it. So, uh, the only thing I really want to say, I'm keeping it short there, Ken, is uh, I'd be remiss. <laughs> All right, he's learning. There it is, right out of the gate. I would be remiss if I didn't bring up uh, the Park District on May 9th is going to be having a meeting about Phil's Beach. Uh, they have a conceptual drawing they're going to be presenting to everybody. I think it'd be great for the public to go out, see it, give your input, because this is a project I think we really have to get behind. A, one of the I left the Park District, and I'm really sad that I left during that time. So thank you to the Park District. Carrie Borellis, I'm going to call you out. So, perfect. <laughs> that is it. Thank you, Trustee. Trustee Marino. Thank you, Mayor Knight. Um, first of all, I, I want to express how very honored and extremely uh, humbled I am to be sitting up here right now. Uh, it's a responsibility I take very seriously. Um, being in this seat, I realized something very important, uh, specifically this seat, and that is I'm the last thing between you and the conclusion of this meeting. So, uh, <laughs> I've been advised by fellow trustees to keep it brief. Uh, but I did want to let you know that I take this responsibility very seriously. And I'm looking forward to rolling up my sleeves, working with Mayor Knight, uh, my fellow trustees, but most importantly, all of you. Uh, this village has a lot of things that we want to get accomplished together. And to require involvement by multiple stakeholders, much beyond simply the people here in the administrative building. And so we look forward to your input, your feedback, and, and, and finding some of you who are willing to be stakeholders and just some of your time as well. So I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. With that being said, can I get a motion and a second to move to executive session for five Illinois compiled statute 122C11 litigation when an action against affecting on or behalf to particular public body has been filed and is pending before a court or administrative tribunal, or when the public body finds that an action is probable or imminent, in which case the basis for the findings shall be reported and entered into the minutes of the closed meeting. So moved. Second. R roll call, please. Uh, Trustee Starkey? Yes. Trustee Armstrong? Yes. Trustee Black? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Schlick? Yes. Trustee Marino? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah.